What is up you guys? Welcome back to another Two Bros Performance YouTube video. Today we are working on Grey Matter. So I've been filming this video for like three weeks now. Uh, we're gonna get a lot done. We got the trans pan gasket changed out. We found our leak. Uh, we got the kickdown cable plug installed. We did some exhaust work on it finally. And what else? Oh, we built a welding cart. We put together a Harbor Freight welding cart for my welder. So yeah. In this video, we're gonna do all that, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get with it. guys yeah I got the kickdown cable delete plug in there. Let's see if you can see it hiding back there. I got a delete plug in there, and the uh, kickdown cable was destroyed. It just straight up didn't have anything coming out hooked up to the throttle body. So that's the old kickdown cable. Got the delete plug in there, and now I forgot to go get more ATF. And well, I was waiting to get ATF. But I forgot to get carb cleaner and I need to spray off my pan and clean it all off before I put the new gasket on there. So it's getting crappy weather, looking like it's going to rain. So I'm going to run to Walmart, get some ATF, get some, a couple cans of carb cleaner, come back and uh, clean some stuff up and slam the trans pan back on there and hope that it seals. Um, we got ATF everywhere just like I knew we would. So I'm going to have to pressure wash the concrete here in the next few days. But hopefully it doesn't leak as bad. We'll see. Alrighty guys, we are back from Walmart and the parts store. I took a little break because it started sprinkling, but it looks like it cleared up. So, I uh, cleaned off the transmission pan. I'll show you guys that. I bought some ATF and uh, we're going to throw the gasket on. We're going to tighten the pan down and really hope that we uh, get it tight and get the seal. So let's get with it. Alrighty, let's see what we can do. See if I can get a decent angle for you guys or not. Probably not, but we gonna try. Alright guys, I don't know what you could see under there, but uh, I just got the transmission pan put back on. We're going to hope it doesn't leak. I got my kickdown cable delete plug installed. Um, sorry this wasn't a very fun video, it was more like general maintenance, and honestly I just couldn't get a good angle. I would love to be doing this on the lift, obviously, but the bugs at my house, it was just too big of a pain to get the trailer from my buddy's house, actually from my landlord's house, borrow the trailer load the bug up, take it to the farm, unload it, throw it on the lift, do all this, and then bring it right back here because I have welding projects I need to do on the bug that I can't do at the farm. One week later. All right. 
right, so I borrowed my neighbor's floor jack, threw the rear wheels up on a set of Emma's old wheels for her Saturn. And so now we can get up underneath. Um, I am going to, those are the universal exhaust hangers I bought. Here, let me show you guys what I'm gonna do. So what we're gonna be doing today is pulling the flex pipe off the driver's side manifold, pulling it right here off the passenger side manifold. Don't worry, that ATF all over everything is from the dipstick tube, it was broken. So it leaked ATF when I tried to fill it. So we're going to uh, pull this flex pipe off and we're going to be sticking the mufflers right here. This muffler will be a few inches from the fuel filter. Everything should be okay. I'm gonna put some heat shielding between it. And then the muffler on this side is gonna sit right up here and then we'll just do a 90 off in front of each tire. So yeah, you can see they've got a a side in and a center out so I'll see if I can get this on video get a good angle but we're gonna have it coming out right there and sitting right about here and then just gonna 90 it out from under the car and I'm just gonna hang it off the floor structure so I'm gonna throw you guys up on tripod and start doing some work One week later. Ew. So it finally happened. I finally bought a welding cart. Uh, it's just a cheapy Harbor Freight one, but super awesome. And I'm super glad I finally got one. I already pulled the manifold out of the bug. It's right here. Got some water in it, whatever. So we're going to be welding up this O2 bung. And then we're going to be welding this one on that is just hose clamped on. So I'm going to grab my extension cord, lay it out and get on it. That is nice and hot, so we're gonna let it cool down for a couple minutes. Then we're gonna throw the manifold back in the car. And uh, while we're doing that, I'm gonna crawl under the bug and uh, get some exhaust hangers kind of lined up and weld some exhaust hangers on. So let's do it. So this is how the hanger is supposed to work. It's supposed to slide up over this and have a nut on each side and clamp around it. But for some reason, 
This is two and a half inch OD, and this is rated, you know, it's supposed to go up to two and a half inch OD, but it doesn't. So it's too skinny, I have to bend it out to get it to slide up and over. And then, uh, even then, it's not long enough to get the nuts on. So what I'm gonna do, I just decided, is I am going to take my angle grinder, I'm gonna cut off these ears, and uh, I may even just, just pound it with the hammer real quick. But I'm either gonna cut these ears off or pound it with the hammer and make this sit down tight right there, and then I'm just gonna throw a hose clamp around it on each side and be done. Because they are hose clamp style universal hangers, I didn't buy any, but since this style won't work and I already bought them, I don't have the receipt, I'm just gonna make them work with hose clamps. All right guys, it looks like it's gonna start raining here in just a second, so I'm gonna try and cut and weld this stuff real quick. And I might just have to jump ahead in the video. I might not be able to get much video of this, sorry. It's the next day, obviously. Um, it's not raining, but it's extremely hot today. And I got my exhaust all in, just crammed in, I was gonna show you guys after. Got ready to do a test start, and that starter solenoid post that broke out of my old starter came all the way out. So I put my free second starter that I got from a neighbor in there, and it's not working. So now I'm pulling it out. John's recording. We're gonna try and get it working and fire it up and see how it sounds with these thrush turbo mufflers. And I've got every extension I own to reach the hard to reach uh, 13 millimeter nut on the starter solenoid post. We got rained out again. I got the exhaust on the car, got ready to start it. Starter was giving me issues. Tried to use a spare starter. That solenoid was bad. Or er, that starter was bad, the solenoid was good. Then I tried to swap solenoids stripped a bolt off, didn't have the right socket, and a bunch of stuff. So now it's like two hours later, the rain has let up for a second, and we got the right starter put together. So now I'm gonna throw it in the car real quick. We're gonna fire it up and see how these turbo thrush mufflers sound. So let's get with it. <laughs> All right, officially the first start with the thrush turbo mufflers, if it starts. Dude, that sounds so good. It's quiet. Like, we're, oh my God. Yeah. Now that's, that's a sound I can live with. Like when we got floor in it, and everything, like I can live with that. Yeah. Sounds really good though. Up 
be more responsive. Yeah, well, and it did, it did sound better, like drop down oh, high. We are going to 90 it out in front of the tires at some point. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this car gives me problems every time I work on it, but I assure you I have been working on it to try and get more content out for you guys. Hopefully very soon we're going to get the passenger floor mounted up and we're going to uh, lay some flooring and get this thing kind of buttoned up and go register it and start driving it. But yeah, so if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really helps us out. And also don't forget to stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.